to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had a great weekend of racing and we want to share that with you, so let's get started. We start at Madeira Speedway, where both Jesse Love and Joey East were in action. Jesse had a solid weekend, starting off in the BCRA Power Eye Midget, where he was fastest in practice and then set fast time in qualifying and brought home a second place finish on Saturday. But Jesse was pulling double duty as he was also racing the Pro Late model at Madeira, where he won his heat race, then finished second in the A main in his Nate Clower prepared number 98. But wait, there's more. On Sunday, Jesse took to the road course at Sonoma Raceway in his Inex Pro Legend car. Want to know what a lap around Sonoma feels like? Take a look at this footage. One thing that you did not see were any cars in front of him, and that did not change in the race on Sunday as he brought the number 38 Robert Gayton racing car home in first place. That's two seconds and one win over the weekend for the young TRD driver. Up next, his first SLR Southwest Late Model Tour race of the year at Irwindale on the 23rd. Now Joey East was also pulling double duty at Madeira in both the USAC Speed 2 Midget and competing in his first pro late model race of his career. Let's start with the midget where Joey has been teamed up this year with championship crew chief Randy Chastain. And they didn't miss a beat as they won the first pavement race of the year at Madeira. Joey then jumped into his number 88 Ridgewood Meat California Ag Solutions Nate Clower prepared pro late model. Joey was fast right out of the hauler and qualified second. Joey ran second in his heat, then ran in the top two most of the race in the A main, but got past late when some lap cars got together and he had to check up, but he still took the checkers in third place. Up next for Joey, USAC Speed 2 Midget at Ocean Speedway on March 29th. Let's now head to Port City Raceway in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where we find next drivers Justice and Colby Sokol, who were competing on the dirt for the second time this year. Justice was in his number 25S Junior Sprint. The Red Army team is still trying to figure out this new car and fighting their way through some gremlins, but are learning more each time out. Older brother Colby had a great weekend at Port City, making the A mains all three nights. On night one, he started the A main in 13th and managed a 12th place finish after contact with the wall, avoiding a wreck. On night two, we went into the B main 7th and finished 4th to transfer to the A main. He would start 18th and finish 12th. 
On Saturday, he won his heat race and transferred directly into the A main. Started six, but a mechanical failure would end his day early. Up next for both Justice and Colby, El Paso County Raceway on April 27th. Brian Henderson was at famed Sebring International Raceway for the second race of the year for his IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. Brian qualified second and took the green flag for the front row. The team struggled throughout the day with losing power and eventually had to settle for a 28th place finish. Up next for Brian, Mid-Ohio on May 4th. We now go back out east to the historic Hickory Motor Speedway for twin 40 lap feature races with race face driver Adam Lemke, who was making his first start in the NASCAR Wheel and All-American Series in his number 98 Slick Products Junior Motorsports Prepared Late Model. In qualifying, Adam turned a 14.9 lap that landed him in 14th as six cars broke the existing track record. In the first 40 lap event, Adam worked his way up to sixth place from his 14th place starting spot. The second feature saw the top nine finishers from race one inverted and Adam had to start fourth, but quickly moved into second and ran there for the first 15 laps before taking the lead on lap 16 with a pass on the outside. For the next 24 laps, the young Hollister, California driver held off track champion Ryan Millington to take his first win on the East Coast. Let's take a look at those closing laps. Meanwhile, Adam Lipke pulling away ever so slightly. It'll be three laps to go this time by. Millington trying to close right back up on the rear end of the Junior Motorsports 98. It'll be two laps to go this time by. Lemke has the lead, but Ryan Millington is there. Here goes Millington to the inside. He's got a nose along beside. They make contact over in turn number three. They lean on each other. Millington to the bottom. Lipke retains the lead. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Chris Hutchpeth closes back up on these two. Here they go. Millington all over the back end. They touch going into three. Lipke side by side. Lipke hangs on. Keeping with tradition, as you can see from this photo, every single time a junior motorsports driver has a win, they fly the checkered flag outside the shop here in Mooresville, North Carolina. This will be the first of many to fly with the name of Adam Lemke attached to it. Up next for Adam, this weekend back at Hickory with the Cars Tour for round two. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. You can catch up on any episodes that you might have missed at raceface.tv on demand. And as always, I encourage you to support local racing in your community, and we'll see all of you back here next week with more from your favorite Raceface drivers. Go out there and make it a great race weekend.